are out here at Hammock Beach. The battle at the beach. I mean, just take this in. You got pineapples popping off the shirt. You got the waves crashing in the background. It's a beautiful day here in Florida. It's super excited to be here for this Battle at the Beach tournament hosted by Steez and Tees, Brian and Mel. Big shout out, big thanks for hosting this. It's, it's the second Battle at the Beach. It's my first Battle at the Beach and I'm just so, so excited to be here and also just showcase this resort to bring you along to play this incredible Jack Nicklaus design course running right along that beautiful coast. Welcome. Not sure it gets much better than this. And look at this, I mean, good gracious. Unbelievable. You know, when they call it Battle at the Beach, that is not a gimmick. This is actually a battle at the beach. It's verified. This is real. We are here, folks. We are here on the beach, ready to battle it out. The ocean course, Steez and Tees showing up, Brian and Mel showing up, bringing together so many good people. That's why we're here. We got beautiful sunshine in Florida, Palm Coast. This is awesome. My gosh, this is just paradise. Let's go take a look at the golf course now. Seventy-nine, seventy-six. No! 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 I can't look no! over it. Are you kidding me? All right, go. Uh, go pick out a wedge. Now. I got a name that's solid. I got a name that's solid. What's the shot? They're all good. Yo, Han. So, go down. Uh, I wanted, him, right? How much more? Like 80% of the money's going on. <laughs> you called it. He okay, wins so everything. 80% of the, uh, <laughs> the, uh, Unbelievable. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> wow, that is insane. In the hole. <laughs> Give me some love, man. What a putt. <laughs> this guy.
tight for me. Come on, baby. Represent Boston. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. That was huge. Checking in on day two of Battle at the Beach. Day one was just play practice run out and check in, have a welcome dinner. There were some awesome raffle items like custom FX wedges, Cobra bags, Arcos lab putter, great stuff. And then day two was 36 holes in you know 50s windy tough conditions right along the ocean scoring was you know very very difficult because of the conditions first round was best ball second round was modified alternate shot and it was just uh just trying to you know plot your way around the golf course pretty much hitting four irons to 170 yard greens and just hoping to get it there because the wind was just howling my partner and i jake had an 80 in the modified alternate shot. And in the morning, in the best ball, we have 79. So pretty steady. And a lot of times pars felt like birdies. You know, if you could just get a par, you just get off the green and run. Because with the wind, anything can happen. It's been a great time. I can't wait to hear what Jake's thoughts are on his first Steez and Tees event. Checking in with Jake. First battle at the beach, what are your thoughts? Yep, it's my first season tease event. Immediately, first thoughts, man, just from last night, honestly, I just noticed how well it was run. Mel and, and Brian do such a great job. It's such a cool tournament. I was, you know, mainly coming here to make connections and meet new people, and I immediately did that. Just everything they set up was great. The event itself is awesome. I mean, Dougie and I had an absolute blast today. It's definitely competitive golf and serious, everything in the hole, but everyone's out there having fun too and enjoying themselves, which I really liked. We found our groove for the second 18, and we managed to crawl our way back up the leaderboard. We were in, we were tied for fourth after our 79 today, and now we are tied for second. So we're five shots off the lead. We got a chance. We got a scramble 18 tomorrow, and if we can really, you know, play the way that I know Dougie and I can play, I have a good feeling we may scare that 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 leader at the number one. So I'm just having such a blast here, honestly. I will definitely be back for another event. This is my first, but it will not be my last. And thank you for Dougie too for showing me everything. He's been nothing but help teaching me and. It's been a blast hanging out with you. Um, so I'm glad we finally got to connect. I'm so glad you made it out, man. We've been talking about this event for a while a long now. Time. Yes, we We've have. been waiting for it all winter. Yes, we have. And now it's here. We're in Florida. Finally here. We're killing it too. So what I'm, do you think of so the awesome. ocean course at Hammock Beach? Oh my gosh. I mean, so pure. Everything about it is so, so pure. Um, it is a tough track. It's kind of like a lynxy styled course. Um, there's not a lot of trees. There's a lot of water. Um, and it is just, everything runs out. Everything's firm and runs out towards the edge of the water or towards the edge of the trees. It is a top track. I'll tell you, the greens are pure. They're rolling great. It's about 6,800 yards for us. We're playing the five T, so one up. It is still treacherous, especially with 20 mile an hour winds, but it's a beautiful golf course. There's like eight holes that are abs just right along the ocean. And when I say along the ocean, I mean, you can take six steps and you're on the beach. It's beautiful, but that breeze coming off the water isn't as beautiful. It's very mean, but it's fun. You got to keep it low. It's challenging. Challenging. So it's it's you know, it's not an easy golf course where you can just dink and dunk it out there You got to strategically plan where you're gonna place it where your miss needs to be It's a tough track and it'll eat you up if you're not ready So um, I'm happy that we got a little bit of a test here. It's not an easy track So no, you can't bring your B game out on this golf course and Definitely even some not. of the great shots that we hit weren't rewarded, weren't rewarded because of the wind and because of the difficult pin positions yep. a lot of the greens have false fronts and so extremely challenging and i mean into the wind you know you got 100 yards you think a nice wedge will get you there really you need two three clubs up you know you hit one pure and it just balloons in the wind and you're just short still exactly so, 
The wind is treacherous out here. It'll really play with your mind a little. It'll humble a golfer real quick, but it's, it's definitely a fun challenge. And I have no complaints about the golf course, Hammock Beach, such a gorgeous track. My first time playing on the ocean, I'm loving it. It's awesome. Playing here at Battle at the Beach, it has not disappointed so far. Some great people here, people that I didn't know before the event. And then tomorrow is going to be a two-man scramble. The weather's gonna be a little bit nicer. We're really, really excited about getting back out there and having fun. Round two in the books, day two in the books, battle at the beach. Let's go. A little bit better weather today as far as Tim goes, I hope, as far as you know, everyone's concerned, their opinion. Uh, a little less wind. What club was that, Jim? Oh, that was a seven iron. Seven iron, knocked it stiff, stiff and tight in the Jordans. What a player. We try, we try. What a player. Come on, come on. Oh. Boom! Yeah! Oh, Jake. Oh, Jake. Almost in the cup. The ringer. The ringer. Pin slammer. Let's go. That away, buddy. What did you hit? I hit a six iron. I, I just kind of choked up and kind of hit a little punchy six. Worked and out pretty this well. is a par five? It's a par five, yeah. Par five and two. And Jake was a foot away from landing in the hole. Little puffer eagle, how about that? Ah, come on! Oh yeah, that was perfect. Oh money Craig. Oh Jake. How about that? <laughs> this is our hole. How about that? That's it. This is our hole, baby. How about that? Jim! What a putt! <laughs> no drama though there for no us. Drama, no awesome drama, no drama, no drama. Come on! Had to leave the pole What's that? Good speed! Bam! Let's go, Dougie! Todd and Greg, where y'all at? Todd and Greg, all right. Congrats! Coming in for 35,000 feet. <laughs> Stokes! Bar I'm not gonna bar Samian. Yeah. Alright boys, let's Smiling! Go. Smiling! <laughs> that guy's on tour, he doesn't make cuts, but... <laughs> <laughs> let's go, Boiler. Good luck out there. Good luck out there. Oh, thanks man, thanks. Oh, have fun. Thank you. Hit it solid.
Congrats, yeah, thank you. Thank you. That was insane, dude. Walking it in. I knew it was, I knew I was at the worst. I was gonna have to do that. So I was happy. <laughs> Lucky Mark, dude. Thank you, Sugarloaf. Thank you to my sponsors. Sugarloaf. Thank you, Sugarloaf Social Club. 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 Thank you, Sugarloaf Social Hey, do you guys know where it's safe? It's safe right here. Right here. Right here. Wait, wait for me to get in the water. Wait, wait. I gotta, the question is, are you going in? How are you going to go in? Are you going in? But like, how? How? I don't know yet. You gotta tell me. Listen, folks, don't don't have side bets with yo. <laughs> no bets with yo. Oh. But they never let you do it on your own. I was more worried about your glasses. Oh, I got them. Yo's hair is looking good. <laughs> so, Jake, give us a recap of day three. So, day three was actually great. We actually had some awesome holes. We had a couple of holes that kind of uh, we struggled on. Um, it was a scramble format um, we played today. It was a lot better conditions today than yesterday. A little windy out there, but it was a little more comfortable, which made us feel a little better. It was a little warmer. We had two eagles, Dougie and I, actually, which was awesome. We eagled two par fives. We had one hole, which kind of hurt us. We both put one in the water, um, unfortunately. We got out of there with a double. But um, other than that, we were on a roll. We hit. We had. We really played some good golf today. I think both of us had a, had a good round. And, and pod one was tough. Our pod was everything from from the first to the last spot was within three four strokes. So it was probably one of the most competitive pods out there. It was an awesome pod. We finished 14 over par for three days. Best ball, modified alternate shot, and then scramble. We were one under today in the scramble. Um, left a few shots out there for sure, but we had a blast out there. What a weekend it was, really. Shouts out to Mel and Brian. I mean, such an incredible event. It's my first event and. I will definitely be back doing some more season tees events. I had such a blast. It was so much fun. And Love then it. what happened with the shootout? Like who shootout won and, awesome. and how'd, that, how'd that play um, out? It was Stokes and Barsimian that won that shootout. Um, and they were, those are guys are some players, man. Um, it was straight up alternate shot, not modified. So, you know, you ch choose your guy to tee off and then the next guy hits the approach in. And I mean, uh, three of the groups had a par, they parred. And then this guys were the last group. They had about a, say about a 20 to 25 foot bender birdie putt it was not an easy putt Stokes basically just walked it in I mean had the ball was halfway in the half halfway to the hole and he was just walking it in already it was impressive man those boys are some ringers some players so um I think they were one under for the whole event too so those guys wow. were really they came here to play some golf for sure um and it was impressive and good for them man if you're gonna win a tournament that's how you win it so good for them and congratulations to both of them for being uh, battle of the beach champions it was impressive to watch absolutely good golf. so just putting a close on this awesome awesome event battle at the beach i mean our first time playing battle yep. at the beach so just want to thank you so much for checking out the video i hope you enjoyed it make sure to hit that red subscribe button make sure to check out jake's channel javin's golf let me check me out please follow him on uh, instagram and youtube and hopefully we can just, you know, keep linking up, keep Absolutely. making some videos. We got a, we got some stuff in the works we're planning, so we're gonna we're gonna keep going, that's for sure. We ain't done yet, we're just getting started. Had a lot of fun here at the Battle at the Beach. Again, as as Jake emphasized, just can't thank Mel and Brian enough for all the work that they do, setting up the event, organizing all the swag, and just making sure that everything is run so smoothly. This is my second Steez and Tees event. I did Players' Cup. If you haven't checked out that video, make sure to go ahead and check that out. I'll try to put a link down in the description and then this video and hopefully some more Steez and Tees events in the future. So thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Thank you guys.